Hey you guys, coming to you live from the Bat Cave, aka the um, extremely organised office of CrossFit NZ, and we are going to be interviewing co-owner Tamron Venter today. Say hi, Tamron. Hi guys, how's it going? All right, Taz. Um, just really want to. Pick your brains about how you've been doing with the challenge so far. We're up to day 24, so a week to go, just under a week to go. How have you been finding it? First of all, what are you doing on the challenge? Um, I'm doing level 2, is it? So no grains, Which is... no sugar. Okay, so still a little dairy? Uh, yeah, I have a little bit of dairy. I try not to have lots of milk, but I have a little bit of cream every day, and I cook mainly with butter, so um, my... my goal for the, the challenge is to just maintain my performance and to enhance my performance for the upcoming regional. So I wasn't going to do anything drastic to my diet um, for, the, for this last month. So really all I've been doing is cutting out the extra sugar that maybe I'd have during the weekends or um, the occasional you know bits of dark garner here and there. Uh, however, I must admit, I think I've had a little bit of honey in some baking, so... I on purpose, or it got snuck, snuck uh, by you? On purpose, but by accident, like oh. this time. <laughs> right, that, like that makes sense. <laughs> like it just kind of slipped in there. Right, um, are you possibly telling us you owe us burpees? Yeah, but um, I'm going to probably do a whole bunch of burpees during these regionals, well, 30 at least, so I'll give you another... All right, All right. we'll postpone them until after the games, yeah, okay? Yeah, there we go. Um, now, so you talked about... Um, Maintaining your performance. Uh, are you are you making any special choices um, with meals around your workouts, uh, like pre-workout or post-workout? Is there a no, specific go-to meal you have? Oh, well, I've been pretty relaxed about when I eat my meals. Um, I don't have specific times. Uh, I do have specific meals though. I I don't zone strip zone, but I've. I, I've been eyeballing. I know my zone portions for fruit and vegetables, so I will I'll stick to those portions. Um, so when you say zone, just for those who uh, are not that au fait with the zone, um, just quickly, when you say you zone portion? But, I mean, basically it's just measuring. I just measure my food. So, um, so you know exactly how much is going I just, in there. I know exactly, like, you know, for a meal, um, an apple is two blocks of carbohydrate. So if I'm going to have a small snack, I wouldn't have more than an apple, for example. Um, along with other things you mean? Or right, along yeah. with my protein and my yeah. fat. But yeah. um, the, the carbohydrate, to be honest, is the only thing I actually um, measure really strictly. My protein I eyeball, and lately I've probably been having more protein than I normally would. My fat, I, I kind of come and go with it, depending on how I'm feeling. And, yeah, so it's, it's like I said, it was it's performance-based. So if I'm feeling good, then I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. If I'm feeling a little low, I'll try and eat a little bit more. Um, and my go-to meal, like for breakfast, is bacon and eggs and veg and uh, fruit. Yeah. And then lunch, if I haven't prepared like a big meal, like if I haven't cooked any meat, it'll be a can of tuna with some cottage cheese and um, maybe a side of like vegetables or another piece of fruit. And then dinner, I'll you know the usual kind of kumara and or whole bunch of broccoli plus the kumara plus some meat. So I, I, I tend to keep it pretty simple. That's cool. You got any um, any special plans for the games weekend then? Um, we're getting two workouts a day, so recovery will be important, but uh, will that change? You know, you plan on eating more carbohydrate during those days, and if so, is that going to come um, from mostly yeah, fruit? When I'm competing, I, I, I try to cut down a little bit of my fat for some reason. I know that just for me feels... Um, if I, I can get carried away with eating like nuts while I'm competing. Yeah. Well, so that I makes just, sense because then you need to get more carbohydrate and probably so ditching right. the fat means you've got room to eat more carbohydrate. Right, so I, yeah, so I, I, I basically um, I basically just cut out, yeah, I basically just cut out all all fat, but I don't worry about what's going on there. There'll probably be some fat in, you know, in the cream I'm drinking or the milk I'm having um, with my coffee or whatever, but like, again, I'm, I'm pretty relaxed, like I'll... I just, I just eat when I'm hungry and it'll be the same again, protein and carbohydrate. I don't specifically go out of my way to eat more carbohydrate. I just try and drink a lot more water. That's what I do, do when I'm competing. I try and drink a lot more water, try and get as much protein in and whatever carbohydrate I can. And um, yeah, 
Yeah, so I don't think that answered your question specifically. No, no, that's, that's good. It's, it's sort of just, it's, I don't have a, you know, a formula. It's just kind of what works for me. Yeah, well, I, I think that um, that enforces some of the things that I've been saying, that um, your body pretty much tells you what you need to eat when, you, yeah. when you've got it in tune or when you're yeah. in tune with it. And with a little practice, you, kn you know f what kind of foods you need to eat. Um, however, that doesn't answer the um, most important question. Um, Sunday night, when the games is done and dusted, cheat meal, or treat meal, we should say. Mm. What's it going to be? You've been thinking about it, dreaming about it? Not really. I think I kind of got to that point where. I mean, officially, there's still one day left in the challenge, it's true. so it's true. we don't really get one. But uh, I don't know. if it was going to be, even if it doesn't sound too too crazy. Yeah. Like Mexican, I have a little, like a burrito or yeah, I can't even. Not you know what usually happens is it's not something I planned. It's like someone will have like a box of shapes. I think after last regionals, I consumed a whole bottle of chick, a whole box of chicken crumpy shapes just because they were there, and I could. Um, so it'll probably it'll be something like that, something stupid that I won't even really want to eat, and someone will have it, and I'll just go to town. You know? Awesome. Yeah, being in a carbohydrate coma. All right, Taz, we're on the plane tomorrow for uh, Sydney, Games Bound. So, um, yeah, we'll, we're trying, I'm not too sure what uh, we're going to do as far as videos this weekend goes. Um, perhaps we'll preload a few um, from somebody else. And if there's any way to report from the Games, we will do that for you. But otherwise, awesome. catch you guys soon. Thanks, Taz. Ciao.